Good morning, everybody. Hey, guys. Um, this is kind of a different video. We were actually out for a walk at the lakefront, and we ran into Darren, CBC, he, um, one of the owners over here. Anyway, the lakefront is amazing to walk in. You know, there's so much to see and do, and you're watching the boats and the people walking and the trails, and we love it. So we. We kept walking and we're going to show you a little bit the uh, historic village. So we kind of walked through that and that's a great place. Um, it's a museum that you can come check out. But there's some new things going on. But new things are coming in and it's so exciting. So we're going to have an interview with Darren and he's going to tell you what's coming. It'll be more the first quarter of next year, but it's going to be a destination. You're going to walk down the, the trails, walk along the lakefront. Another cool thing for uh, the historic downtown Claremont area. Yeah, we are excited. So let's share that and we're going to bring you more and more as things happen here in Claremont because there's a lot planned. So it's not just houses, there's a lot of th things going on in the uh, downtown area. So stay tuned. So this is Village Marketplace and the Village Marketplace is going to be a uh, uh, 8,000 square foot retail kind of farm market uh, type of operation where you can get fresh produce, you can get uh, uh, meat cut to order, prepared foods, you can get wine, cheese, dairy, uh, local stuff, as much locally sourced items that we can get um, we'll have here. There will also be two Airstream food trailers, one um, with grilled foods and salads and rice, another one will be a bakery coffee trailer and then there'll be a, 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 a bar uh, it's called the cider shack and it'll you'll be able to get beer wine and soda there's also going to be something that's pretty unique is an automated dog wash station here that you literally put your dog in it you hook them up and then uh, it's like a self-serve car wash where you put the credit card in you hit the different buttons and you have a wand and you wash the dog and then you get done you can blow dry the dog and and that stuff so you can literally have a beer while the boss is doing the shopping and you can wash the dog, drink a beer, and uh, have a, uh, a sandwich or a turnover or whatever, whatever okay. you want. What type of time frame are you taking? So we're hoping uh, the first quarter of 23 will be, um, will be operational. So the building was actually, uh, a, it's a heavy timber, almost like an equestrian center type of structure like a barn there's a big picture of it up there that i had built in oregon and a big douglas fir and then they shipped it down and as a matter of fact it's sitting on the lot where the apartments are going so as soon as the pad this will go up pretty quick the, the food trailers are a couple blocks over so this will go pretty quick once we get to the point of going going vertical so and then there'll be a 25 unit apartment building on the other side, uh, rentals uh, with underground uh, below uh, parking down there as well. And it'll have a, like a bridge that connects to the marketplace from the apartments. And location-wise, you're right by the lake so they can walk up here and get food and enjoy all that. Well, part of the whole location strategy was is that the trail that goes through here is called the South Lake Trail, but it is uh, part of the Florida Coast to Coast Trail that it, the state is funding that is going to go from Melbourne on the Atlantic Ocean 250 miles and almost like a big horseshoe and, and it ends up in downtown St. Pete. So this spot right here is exactly halfway. Meet in the middle. And we are building a park, the city is, called Meet, uh, meet, in, the, meet me in the Middle. So if you're a bike rider, walker, whatever, you could do 125 miles and get halfway and then another 125 miles. 125 the second way this will be your pit stop okay so we'll have bike racks it'll be very like i said uh pedestrian bike dog family friendly uh that you'll be able to come here hang out and refuel and you were saying like local food uh butchers get meat, yeah we'll have a local fresh... butcher we'll have seafood we'll have a dairy case we'll have wine uh cheese local honeys rubs um, you know, various, uh, you know, local sourced uh, citrus and, and vegetables and, and what have you. So a lot of seasonal stuff. We have a, a big uh, John Deere uh, hit and miss engine that uh, powers uh, old fashioned ice cream makers. Oh, I love that it. That will have like ice cream socials on Sunday, but we'll use very seasonal fruit, whether it's peaches, blueberries, blackberries, 
you know, watermelon, whatever, to, to make the ice cream and, and stuff that we'll sell. And then, um, you know, then we'll have a lot of interactive stuff throughout the, of course, seasonal uh, things from, like I said, from pumpkin carving contest, the watermelon eating, the Christmas type of, uh, of events and stuff. So we've got a lot of, of cool old tractors and Model A trucks and, and things that'll be part of the... Uh, Part of the experience, a lot of Instagrammable type of type of items, and there'll be a big outdoor seating area with umbrellas. And I'm going to try to create as much shade as we can. Oh, this is amazing! Yeah. And it's right by the historic village. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, yeah, right by the historic village. And, and we're yeah. going to keep you updated on this progress because this is why people come to Claremont. Yeah, there you go. All so right. You get a shot of the uh, dirt right now, yep. and then your next one, uh, you'll see concrete. Yeah, well, they're putting the plumbing in right now, so they can start pouring next week. Hey, another really cool thing I'm excited about is the day spa. This is coming to Claremont. Um, they are going to be a luxury spa. It's kind of like when you go into a resort. Um, and you just spend the day and just get pampered and have all the cool stuff that the spas offer. This is one of those places, but it's not gonna be the resort prices. It's gonna be just another place in downtown Claremont that you're gonna enjoy, and you might wanna come over and spend the day. It's still in process. They will be building it and not sure how long, but we're gonna keep you updated on that. And once it's built, I'll be in there relaxing and showing you what's happening inside. Well, right next door to the Village Marketplace is the Claremont's Historic Village Museum. This is an exciting place, a lot of history here, and it's right on the lakefront. Yeah, this whole uh, little area here, the whole idea is to preserve and they want to maintain the history of you know, the pioneering families uh, that came to South Lake County. And uh, this is especially for the Claremont area. The period that it covers is from the late 1800s to World War II, and uh, it's just really a fascinating place of history and what was here right in the Claremont area. So you need to go check it out. Claremont is a world triathlon destination, and we're going to show you race number three of the summer series. Okay, so we're out here at the uh, Claremont Lakefront and there's a uh, uh, Advent Health uh, Cool Mornings Summer, Summer series, series number three that's going on today. So what that is, it's a combination of different types of races. They have triathlons and duathlons and basically that's uh, a combination of running, biking and swimming. The duathlons uh, cut out the swimming but uh, yeah they have all different distances and levels intermediate so there's just tons of fun going on out here swimmers runners bikers and uh, it's sort of crazy it's crazy fun you know Claremont we can't speak enough about it. it's all about health and wellness if if this is your thing I mean this is like the place to be um, there's festivals all year long there's races and uh, triathlons and it's all about you know, living your best life, keeping healthy and fit, and uh, what better place, uh, you know, the lakefront. I mean, we have the most beautiful lakefront to do all these events. And when, when they're done with their uh, races or runs, because uh, there's so many things going on here, they have uh, food, snacks, and beverages for them, and music playing, so the party uh, starts, I guess, when the uh, when the physical stuff ends. I kind of heard a little thing about going to the brewery after. <laughs> <laughs> so another reason why Claremont. Oh yes, I see you guys moving out. We still got things moving through transition. So many amazing athletes out there. In three, two, one, go! Let's hear it for our Purple Cats as we enter the water. Let's go, Purple Cats! Nice work. They are focused. These are ladies on a mission. They have a goal. They will accomplish it. Silver Cats coming out of the water right now. Nice work.
Thank you for joining us today. We had fun uh, showing you uh, the races down here in Claremont, as well as some of the other areas and new things happening. There's so much coming into this area and we're so excited to share it with you as they develop. So you need to always stay tuned um, and you can see why. Claremont's the place for many people. Um, they're coming down in droves. It's such a lively community and there's so much to do here and we have a lot more to share with you. So always stay tuned and uh, we'll see you soon. Oh, by the way, we do appreciate you watching. Yes, we do.